So because of the fact that as an organization we've recognized the importance of leading from the front, of recognizing the importance of local players, of understanding local nuances and accommodating a diversity of ideas. It's called inclusive growth. And so we want to demonstrate a leadership that can transform the, the, the lives of the people of Africa through research. Knowledge is power. Research is about information. For years we've been giving information that doesn't transform the lives of people. Enough of that type of information. Uh, because that type of information only helps those that are gathering it uh, and those that are distributing and using it for commercial purposes. We need information that is relevant, that addresses the most significant underlying research problem in Africa, which is why is media underdeveloped? Why are livelihoods underdeveloped? What can we do to offer a bigger audience, a better audience, a more sophisticated audience? And today we've seen one of the most intelligent presentations delivered uh, that help us to catch up with the rest of the world. And we need that type of research that does not pretend that we are where the rest of the world is, that recognizes where we are right now and where we need to go. So my vision for um, PAMRO is that PAMRO has led by being all-encompassing, PAMRO will lead by the ideas that it embraces for research that is meaningful, that goes beyond uh, just the commercial revenues for research companies, advertising agencies, marketing people and advertisers. If somebody had to ask you the state of research in Africa, how would you respond? What is your view of the, the current state of research? Yeah, you know, with PAMRA has been instrumental in spreading the currency research uh, that is used uh, based on the old SAF, South African Advertising Research Foundation model, which is the AMS. Now, that has standardized the quality of information, the structure and type of data, and to a certain degree, sampling methodologies, data weighting, uh, and analysis and reporting. So the standard is pretty good. Um, we see that many companies are joining PAMRO. Um, they are members of PAMRO. They uh, subscribe to our values, to our code of conduct, and to the ESOMA code of conduct. And for that reason, they, they are doing research the way that it should be done. The accessibility of sampling points is different. The terrain is different, quality of roads, um, uh, are different. The quality of telephones, uh, mobile phones, the, the, the strength of the signal in certain areas, uh, uh, the number of people on the internet, all these things differ. Availability and quality of devices um, might be lower in some African countries than in others. So this, this affects the platforms that are used to collect data. But it's exciting times because technology, these devices, these tablets, these mobile phones, have helped uh, bridge the gap between the speed of doing research, the quality of research that is done in Africa to, to, to comparable levels to that which is conducted in the rest of the world. So we're very excited about that, the fact that technology seems to have somehow miraculously been a godsend for the continent. So we, we really are happy, we are proud of our members that are operating even in such remote uh, locations in uh, Central Africa like Sudan. At the recent conference we, we actually had uh, a few members from, from the Sudan and uh, their stories are very exciting um, and one thing that we all have in common about where research fits in uh, is that research should be our secret weapon. Re research information data is the secret weapon by which we can emerge from this uh, widespread uh, uh, poverty, deprivation, and almost like a vicious cycle um, of uh, hard luck stories out of which we're not able to emerge. So PAMRA is proud to play uh, a leading role. And uh, as today is demonstrated, we want to increase uh, the role that we, we are playing, we want to reach out to everyone, 
in an inclusive way in every country um, in Africa. And we have global companies that are represented. We welcome their, their ideas, we welcome their input, and uh, we think everyone can play a role. This is the surprising thing. Everyone is interested in Africa doing good. And the reason why they're interested in Africa doing good is there's 1.2 billion of us on the continent, energetic, young population, dynamic. So there's lots of business to be had. Um, and, and therefore, um, our time spent here has not been a waste. Our time spent here has been a huge investment um, on the continent. And um, I hope to, to lead this organization in a way where the different players that, that, that play will invest even more time, uh, more of their time and more of their effort in investing in this wonderful continent. And I did say that Africa is the hottest continent, uh, temperature-wise. But uh, coming to an ear near you, it will be the hottest, the smartest, and the nicest continent to live in. And this is where we're going, and this is where we see Palmer being instrumental.